Now if I double click my plan view that I've just created, it will open up in the viewing area. Here we can see all the mapping data that we've got. Now for our purposes, we don't need everything here. Um, we, we just really need the area of interest, which is going to be the roundabout and the surrounding roads around it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to edit my plan task. And in the source query, I'm going to clear everything that I've got there. I'm gonna press the drop down again and choose select objects. Now I'm just gonna do a box around my area. Now manually, I might add a few things. So if I hold down control, and drag a box around something else I'd like to add to a selection, I can do so quite simply. Just making sure I've got enough context for me to create the alignments. Now that I've done that, I'm gonna change my presentation rule from draw all to basic map. Now press finish. And if I close my view down, I right click back on it again and press open we can see we've just got the area of interest that we want. And from this, we're gonna create two alignments. One going from the bottom left to the top right and one going from the bottom right to the top left. That way we can create the two baseline alignments to create a roundabout. Before we start doing that, we need to create the alignment tasks that, that they'll be part of. So I'm gonna go into my Explorer and choose the summary task where I want it to be. Now go to the Nova Point tab at the top and start creating an alignment. This first one is going to be called Road 1000. And for my calculation basis, I need to choose the ground surface that we created earlier. Ground surface complete. Now I can press close and finish. And there we can see it in the Explorer. Now I need to make the second one. So again, create an alignment. Road 2000 this time, and select calculation basis. A quick tip here is that I can press the drop down on the right, and I can choose the previous task that I've just made. So now you can see that it's got one selected, and that'll be the same ground surface that we selected previously. Now I can press finish, and we've got both of those there. Now we can start creating the actual alignments in a program like Trimble Drawing or AutoCAD. So in the bottom right, I'm going to select Start CAD. Now my CAD program will open and I should see a Nova Point tab at the top. Here we are. So I'm going to select my Nova Point tab at the top. I'm going to enable my road module. I'm going to go to Module, Road Professional, Load, apply and then okay now we can see i've got the road tab at the top the first thing that i need to do is get the existing situation uh, into my drawing so i'll go to the nova point tab plan presentation and by default it will choose the first presentation in the list which is my plan view that i created i'll leave everything as default and press draw what this will do is fetch the information from the nova point model and bring it into the cad program and now we can see I've got that mapping data. To start creating my alignment, I need to go to the road tab, select alignment design. Now I can go to object and then choose task. And these are the two alignment tasks I created. So let's start with road 1000. We'll begin by appending angular points. So I'll select it from a hot bar and I'll start from down here. Now I'll just start vaguely selecting where this alignment should go. It doesn't need to be perfect first time as we're going to do some um, altering to it. Go up here. Approximately. There. And immediately we can see a glaring problem with the radius on this arc over here. So let's go ahead and just decrease that radius significantly and just move it back a bit. Okay. So we'll do the same for this one. So here I'm selecting the radius box and I'm using the plus and the minus here to change it by a step of 50. 
You can also manually input a number in here as well. I'll put that back. So now, roughly following the center line, we'll change this first arc radius. We'll increase that quite significantly. Let's try 500. Just move the arc back to here. Okay. I think that looks good for our first alignment. That's only the horizontal that we've done there. So now we need to go to the vertical. To do that, I'm just going to double click in the bottom here where it says horizontal. And this will automatically open up my vertical. And it also puts in the line of where the existing ground surface is because we added the ground surface to the calculation basis in our alignment task. In here, you can do the same thing where you can append angular points. Uh, however, the terrain here is uh, it has been interpolated from, I think, a singular elevation. So we might be able to get away uh, with simply ins inserting a line. Now for this, I'm going to turn my snap back on. And I'm going to snap it to the start of the alignment there. And go through to the end. Now in your cases, there may be more complex vertical uh, terrain here. So you might need to do a similar thing with the horizontal alignment where we're appending angular points and things like that. So now I can press OK Draw. And if I go back into the Nova Point client, I can find my alignment task, right click and view in 3D. We can now see that that's brought it in here. Now I'm going to do a similar thing for my Road 2000 alignment. Let's go back into Trimble Drawing, go to the Alignment Design at the top, Object, choose my task, and then Road 2000. Now this is a similar exercise to before, where I'm going to append angular points. I'm going to start from that small straight there, go through here. We want to get approximately the center of the roundabout with this curve. And take that all the way around. Reduce the radius on that. Pull that first arc back. Okay. Now for this curve, we'll change it to approximately here. And our final line. And finally just move this final arc over to here. Now it looks like we might need another arc and a line to get a bit more central on the alignment here. I'll select my third element and I will go Insert line and then insert insert an arc like so. Okay. Now I'm just going to move that backwards. Here we are. That's allowed us to get quite a bit more central on that. Change the location. This arc here. Sometimes the grip points may change. When that happens, uh, you can simply just go over to modify 
And then if we look down here, we've got a couple of options that we can choose. So you can calculate angular points again, and it will snap everything back to where it should be. So I can change that to where, okay, I'm happy with that. So I'm going to double click my horizontal again to go to vertical. Same exercise as before. This is assumed terrain. So I'll go start point, end point. Okay, draw. Now if I minimize that, go back into our Nova point model, can drag and drop it into my existing view. And we can see that we've got them here. That's all for the alignments. So let's move on to creating the roundabout itself.